You may be expecting someone to introduce me, but I'm not like all the other guys. So, let me introduce myself. I'm Narco, top one player in the world for several seasons, and I'm risking my life teaching you how to become a pro player in a matter of days, giving you the most valuable tips and tricks you'll ever find. Sit down, relax, and enjoy. Well, there was a time when I used to give my heart and soul in the battlefield. Then, I took a break and observed from the shadows everything that's happening, and I have bad news. I'm back. You may be thinking, how the hell is this bad news? Well, it is. For my enemies. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to be in the shadows and observe who is who and what they're capable of. Someone said, give them power and you'll see who they really are. And for those who stood by my side, I can't thank you enough and I want to let you know it was worth it. Now, maybe I should stop talking before I get too emotional. There's no space for emotions now. I have some potatoes to fry. As usual, I was minding my business. I just took my gunsmith when I could smell two potatoes driving a car. Analyzing the situation, I'm in an open space. I could easily try to take them down from here if they stopped, but nowadays the game feels so toxic with a lot of zero skill players. Sometimes even less than that. Players that rely most of the time on their class to kill you with a press of a button instead of fighting like a soldier. No hate towards any of these players, but understand that if you kill a good player being toxic with your class, that doesn't make you better than him. And he would probably kill you a hundred times out of a hundred if you didn't have your toxic class. Just keep that in mind. Going back to these potatoes, I need to take cover before they mistake Call of Duty with GTA and start running over me. Looks like someone else is joining the party. This can only be fun. Now, before going up on the roof, I want you to know something. A few weeks ago, while I was in the roof of this exact same house, a guy climbed on the floor, came on the roof and killed me from behind. Remember what I've said, for as long as you learn from your mistakes, you'll be fine. Let's continue and see if I've learned my lesson. This guy came from the top of the hill. If I'm right, I'm expecting more to come.
Do you want to know why I didn't chase that guy, even if I shot him a couple of times? Let me show you. This is the reason. If I jump down to chase the other one and don't kill him fast enough, this guy could climb on top and both of them could make a sandwich out of me. And for this reason, I'm gonna give up the chase and wait to be pushed up in here for at least one of them. Never saw potatoes flying before, even after they're knocked. Hello, dear soldier, whoever you are. I'm sorry I'm gonna have to kill you, but I can't make the same mistake twice. It's not your fault, but some already killed me this way, and I've learned my lesson. Hope you're gonna learn a lesson as well by climbing that floor. Mission completed. I've always said that a squad should all walk together, but if one of you takes some distance while being rushed by another squad, that can be very helpful as well. Remember, I've said one, not all of you. If you have a fixed squad, you have to let someone in charge of this. In my case, it worked pretty well, so well that one of the random guys from my team told me that I'm not normal. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> you are not normal. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate that. I'll take it as a compliment. Okay. One thing that will save your life many times is continuous fire. First, make sure you have an extended mag on your weapon. Second, make sure it is reloaded. And third, make sure the targets are close to each other, so that way you can shoot one and after it's knocked down, while shooting, move the aim to the other one. This way, you can save a second or two, which can be crucial in some cases. See what I'm talking about? Another example in here. No problem. And another here. Now, me personally, I wouldn't have shot this guy right now. That's the reason I've aimed and left him alone until I get closer to be able to get some cover in case his team decides to fight back. But since my teammate started to shoot, the obvious thing for me to do is shoot him as well. 
The sooner we take him out, the better. What I want you to understand from this is that sometimes you have to stop thinking how miserable or good your life is, how bad it is that your school or your job or the love of your life even notices your existence. Stop thinking about other things and help your teammates whenever they're shooting someone. I can't tell you how many times I was playing squads and the only one shooting at the enemy squad was just me. And if I happen to die, then my squad comes back to reality and realize they're playing COD Mobile. Stop thinking about that girl, because I promise you she didn't even know you exist, unless you make it happen, but not while playing Call of Duty. Drop me a comment if she said yes. <laughs>